How's it going, Virgo? It's Robin here. Thanks for joining me today for your November 2021 Wealth and Abundance Financial Forecast. Uh, I will be using the Gilded Tarot to do this reading for you. This is just a really brilliant deck. And from all the decks that I have, I like the Pentacle suit in this one the most. It really speaks of money. So I think it's a great deck to use for your Wealth and Abundance reading. This is going to be a general reading, okay? So for Virgo in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, I always recommend that you check out your Moon sign if you're not a big fan of your Virgo Sun sign reading. And it's okay if it doesn't resonate. You just need to maybe check out a different angle. <clears throat> so guys, if you do need a private reading from me, I take a couple clients every week. Um, my email address is ariesfiretarot at gmail.com. It's also in the description box for you. So let me know. Uh, <clears throat> remember also to comment like what your favorite card was, how much the reading resonated. And I feel like I'm ready to start pulling cards here for you. My, my team in spirit is like, okay, let's go. Crack on the card as angel number 111 flipped on the timer okay so that is very important if you guys see angel numbers or if i call out angel numbers maybe write them down so that you can check it out after the reading okay so we have the moon card here for you so i was saying before you might want to check out your moon sign okay so this is where you can learn how to operate from your sun sign power and your moon sign power so that you guys are a stronger team okay there's quite a balance here the moon sign the moon card represents your intuition rising you know Okay, so this is the message that I got from one of my spirit guides. They said that you could have this intuitive flash of trouble on the horizon, which is very interesting, okay? And you can see here too, whenever that there's a crustacean in a card, it means that your psychic ability is rising as well, okay? So you could be having intuitive flashes, okay? So you want to pay careful attention to those. So it can be really challenging to differentiate between your inner saboteur, which that is that voice of negativity that everybody carries around with them. So that is one voice. We're all very familiar with that voice. But then there's something from your gut. You know, it could be your higher self giving you that little pause of a warning. Okay, so... If you are about to embark on any sort of journey with your finances, listen to your intuition, okay? It has something for you to say. You could also be having dreams about what is going to happen next in your financial life. Not saying this so you guys will have a panic or all this bad stuff is going to happen. It is like just be aware that there are circumstances outside your immediate circumstances that need to be paid attention to. Okay, so the moon card is quite compelling. Your intuition, your dreams are trying to tell you something. Um, however, okay, so we do have, we do have the card of victory with the ace of swords. Okay, so this is asking you to use a really clear head, okay? You will be the recipient of really brilliant ideas coming through the clouds. Sometimes intuition is a little bit foggy and we're not sure how to interpret it, okay? So keep in mind, you do have also the representation of Archangel Michael through tarot. If you are feeling like, I don't know what to do about this, you know? What does that message mean? What did that dream mean? What is my higher self trying to tell me right now, okay? Call on Archangel Michael. I have seen you guys with angels in your readings going back for a long time, okay? So it's really time for you guys to start speaking to Archangel Michael constantly. He's here for you, okay? And he wants to help you move forward in solidarity with yourself with your sun sign and your moon sign and he wants to cut every obstacle out of your path including your self-doubt of your inner saboteur he wants to cut the haze 
of any sort of like, what was that? You know, you're getting a message and you, I don't get it. Like, again, guys, if you have a dream and you remember it, this is no longer a dream. It's a message. Okay. So you can ask Archangel Michael. There's also plenty of um, Archangel Michael meditations or you can have a prayer to Archangel Michael. For me, when I speak to Archangel Michael, I either like to be outside. I don't know why. Um, it just helps the reception a little bit. <sighs> Did anybody feel goosebumps when I said that? Okay. Because I, I think I just said his name so many times. Okay. I feel like he just entered the room behind me. <sighs> and he's here. Okay. So I was saying I like to be outside. I feel like it's a little bit more of a powerful connection or I like to stand by a window. But again, I was just saying his name and it's kind of like an incantation and a call. And you could feel that sort of a swelling of that, whoo, that presence behind you, okay? That energy, you could get goosebumps. And know that he is here fighting battles for you on a spiritual and ethereal level to help get to you to the point of your financial freedom, okay? So sometimes he does come and stand behind you, okay? So you got to be prepared for that. It is a very overwhelming feeling. So you can just say, Archangel Michael, is that you? And you should feel a little bit of a temperature rise or goosebumps and know how much he loves you if he's taking time out of his busy schedule to come and visit you, okay? He's always available. Sometimes he's more apparent and evident than others, okay? So you could be getting these visions as well, okay? So really incredible reading so far. And to know that you have Archangel Michael on your side when it comes to providing for you in a, in a material way, in a financial blessing type of a way. I mean, that is so reassuring. It's so powerful. Man, I just love that for you guys. I really need you guys to comment if you felt any kind of an overwhelming presence or a body reaction. So like he can be anywhere, everywhere with you and me at the same time. So This is what Archangel Michael is doing for you right now, okay? He wants to reassure you. He wants to calm you. I hope you guys saw that card, but I need, like, I just... He wants you to not worry. He wants you to know that your financial wishes and dreams, they're happening for you. And he's going to protect you from everything that is going on, okay? Okay? And bringing in this massive gift of abundance. Like whatever it is that you need to take care of yourself, your family, your friends, your pets, you know. So that you have a house to walk into at the end of the day. You have an abundant job or a gift or, you know, just all these financial blessings. This is where your psychic awareness is going to come in because angels are always around us, okay? They cannot help you unless you invoke them, unless you call on them. And then your physical and mental awareness of them is going to sort of knock you sideways, okay? Be prepared for that, that when you call an angel to come in and help you, they will do it, okay? And the feeling can be monstrous but to have archangel michael mighty warrior angel fighting your financial ba battles to ensure that your bank balance is where it needs to be so that you are protected in this material world i mean who else can say that i have not seen that in anybody else's financial reading you know, so I think sometimes people are afraid to ask angels for stuff. You know, oh, well, they're busy or I don't think I should ask an angel to help me out. But that's what they're here for. 
They're here to help you with every single thing, every want and need, not just to protect you or, you know, call on when you're having a lack of faith or pray to when, you know, somebody is in danger or somebody's health is at risk. You need food in your fridge. You need clothes on your back. You need to take care of your kids, your pets, your friends, your family. Archangel Michael is here for you in force, in force, hugely. Ace of Swords, plenty coming in. Ace of Pentacles, one more card here for you. Okay, so the Two of Cups, this is the psychic connection between you and someone else, okay? Really start enhancing your psychic abilities, okay, with the Moon card. Everything should start to open up for you. Your receptivity to the thoughts and the messages and the urgings of the of the angels. Which path to follow? This is intense. This is beautiful. This is sparkling. This is like you are aligned with the power of the mighty warrior angel here to protect you in the material world so that you want for nothing, Virgo. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. So make sure that when you call Archangel Michael in and he lights the way for you, thank you very much. I just saw angel number 1133. So I really just want to say this right now. Thank you so much to Archangel Michael for appearing in Virgo November 2021 Wealth and Abundance reading for seeing the light that they shine out into the universe and protecting them and en enabling them to um, be abundant and live a beautiful life. So make sure you thank your angels, you guys, especially when they appear like this. And don't be afraid of the power of the angels, okay? Because you guys are so protected. You're so loved. You're so financially blessed right now. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, so I'm going to wrap it up. Um, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.